Hey everybody, Fred here, plcgurus.net. So I wanted to take a, a couple minutes and do a, just a short little video here on how to configure or go about configuring a static IP address in Windows 10. So I know a lot of uh, facilities are now upgrading their field devices to the Windows 10 operating system to support all of their PLC uh, and automation software. Um, so just a quick convenience video here in case you're not overly comfortable with the Windows 10 operating system, how to go about configuring a static IP in case you need to. So let's get going. So the quickest way to go about doing this and what I like to do is I usually go down to the little uh, system tray down here and you can see I am currently connected to a Wi-Fi network uh, but you may see your little LAN uh, connection symbol here and what you want to do is right click on that and go open network and internet settings. And then what you want to do is you want to go head on over here to change adapter options and this will open all of the network interface uh, devices on the PC or laptop that you're using and allow you to configure that specific interface for a static IP. So you can see I have several here. Uh, you may only have one or two, um, but go ahead and right click the one you want to configure for a static IP. And you'll want to head down to the, so I'm in the Ethernet properties. You'll want to head down to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP uh, IPv4 and click properties and then here you can set your your static IP so what you'll want to do is you want to deselect the obtain IP address automatically and select use the following IP address and in here you can go ahead and put whatever static IP you want to place so let's just I don't know we'll just make one up for now and then you want to put your subnet mask and if there's a gateway at your facility that you want to set up you can go ahead and do that as well And we'll put that at 254. And I usually, I mean, for static, I usually use the DNS server. I leave that just blank, and that's it. You can just click OK, click Close, and you're all set. So again, I did say this was going to be a short video. This is just to help you get a, a static IP uh, set and configured in a Windows 10 operating system. So I hope you found this video informative. Please do remember to check out our companion website at https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net. Become a member of what is quickly becoming the largest and fastest growing community of automation professionals. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.